这个是福特款的一个撸起，就是长安款。Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today's episode comes packed with an all-you-can-watch buffet of scares, the strange and even the bizarre. Sit back, watch, and relax. For our first clip of the day, we visit China. Here we've got this van that's causing a stir on the internet. If you're wondering why, take a look. This is a 75x1m van. It's a Chinese van. It's a Ford van. You see it, don't you? Yeah, that looks like an oven at the back of the van. It should not exist, but oh, there it is. As strange as that is in itself, here's what's puzzling people. The opening is big enough to fit a human in there. The big question on everyone's mind: What on earth could a human-sized oven in the back of a van be for? It's not exactly your typical barbecue setup. So what is it? Some in the community believe it might be a mobile crematorium. Yeah, you heard that correctly, a crematorium on wheels. Could it be truly a crematorium, or is there something that we're missing? Please do share your thoughts in the comments section. This is a 75x1m van. It's a Chinese van. A trail camera captured this creature in the woods. This has to be a bipedal wolf-like creature. That's a lot of words jumbled up together, but I know you get me. Just look at its snout and hairy body. From the waist down, it appears to be human. The darkness makes it hard to see, but we can see enough. I mean, take a look at its knee. So what could it be? Well, two things come to mind. The first originates from spooky stories and folklore, suggesting it might be a werewolf or a dogman. You know the creatures that often show up in eerie tales. The weird features of this creature kind of support that idea. Aaron believes it's definitely a dogman, and I can't argue with him on that. The second thing that comes to mind has to do with the more skeptical folks. Some were already in the original post asking, "Hey, could this be a person in a costume pulling off a prank in the deep dark forest?" Instead of arguing these things out, tell us what you think. Dogman. Costume hoax. Be blunt. We'll be reading in the comments. What comes to mind when you see this man? If you said Cyclops, you wouldn't be alone. I mean, he is just one eye. I know there are cases of people born with various physical differences, like one leg or extra limbs due to defects or genetic variations. But in this case, it's tempting to let the imagination wander a bit. Could this be a modern-day cyclops in the making? In Greek mythology, cyclops were giants with single, large eyes in the center of their foreheads. They're often depicted as powerful and sometimes menacing beings. In the modern world, however, when it comes to individuals born with a single eye, it's typically a result of a congenital condition known as cyclopia. Cyclopia is a rare and serious birth defect, where during the early stages of development, the baby forms only one eye instead of the usual two. It happens when the eye sockets don't fully separate like they should while the embryo is growing. So yes, this man can be called a cyclops, except he's not a giant. On second thoughts, I don't think it'll be nice to call him that, assuming the video isn't actually a hoax. But do let us know what you think. We've heard of the Fountain of Youth and know loads about it, but has any one of you ever heard about a Miracle Rock? No? Well, watch this clip. Someone burns this strange black stone, and a clear liquid appears. Then they smear it on a cut in their hand, which appears to have a cut on it. After a few seconds, the cut closes up. Imagine how many lives we could help if this was real. Well, according to the one who uploaded this footage, it exists, and it's called the Bangfa Stone. 
Yeah, I hadn't heard of it either, but they claim it's found in the Amazon forest and has great healing properties. I mean, we'd be doing extensive research into this, so subscribe and like if you haven't already. But until the findings of our research are out, what do you think? Is this real or do you believe it's a hoax? Share your thoughts in the comments section. During an eclipse on October the 4th, 2023, someone managed to capture not just the usual sun and moon show, but another bright sphere hanging out behind the sun. Do you see it? Can you guess its name? No? Well, it's allegedly called Nibiru. I know you might be confused, so let's delve into the Nibiru conspiracy theory. The conspiracy states that there is this made-up planet called Nibiru, or Planet X, and it's supposedly heading straight for Earth, bringing all sorts of disasters with it. But here's the thing. Scientists and astronomers have looked into it, and they say no real evidence for this planet or any danger of a collision exists. In short, it's a theory that's been widely disapproved by the experts. Now, we all know that the government has been up to no good these days, hiding a lot of information from the public. Who is to say that this is also one of the things they want to hide from us? Still on heavenly bodies, this footage was recorded from the International Space Station. And what do we see? Strange glowing orbs just hanging out up there. Now the big question is, are we dealing with some kind of extraterrestrial craft, or are these orbs actually celestial entities? The space around Earth is populated with satellites, space debris, and other objects. Glowing lights could be reflections of these objects, especially when caught in the sunlight. But we cannot rule out the possibility of extraterrestrial crafts out there. Because, just like Nibiru, there might be some truth to these conspiracies. Or do you think I'm losing it at this point? Brace yourself for this next one. There's a baby with black eyes, and no, it's not some edited clip or visual trick. It's a real baby. Now, we're not talking about the creepy black-eyed kids thing here. So what could be going on? Well, we don't actually know for sure, beyond the fact that the one who sent it in insists he was there when it was recorded. Some folks who saw the clip are guessing that the baby might have experienced some kind of trauma, making the eyes look dark. They speculate it would get better after a few days. Others are saying that perhaps the baby just has larger pupils that will grow into those eyes over time. Now, I haven't heard of that before, but neither has anyone I know seen this before as well. It's one of those things that sparks a lot of speculation and different ideas. This situation, however, is something that has been observed quite frequently in recent times. A lot of recent childbirths result in these babies looking like they're auditioning for a role in an exorcist movie. What do you think could be going on? Take a look at this video clip. At first glance, it's just a regular aeroplane making its way across the sky. No big deal, right? But here's where it gets interesting. If you take a closer look in slow motion, there's this mysterious cloaked craft that whooshes by. Even in slow motion, it's moving at a pace that'll make your head spin. Now let's not jump to conclusions and declare it's aliens or anything, but it does make you ponder, doesn't it? There might be some other things up there sharing the vastness of the sky with us. It's like a subtle hint that there's more to our surroundings than meets the eye. What are your thoughts? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Someone filmed this strange creature in the woods. At first glance, you'd see a Sasquatch, but a second look will reveal it's its canine cousin, if you can call it that. Many who saw it are convinced we're dealing with the Dogman, and looking at it, I can understand why they think that. 
The creature looks a lot like Husky, if you know what I mean. This also has got some talking in the paranormal community that we could be dealing with a werewolf instead. There are some who also believe that this is a hoax. Yes, by some, I mean our good old skeptics. But what do you guys think? Is this a genuine encounter with a cryptid, or is this simply an attempt to mislead us? Share your thoughts. Hold on to your history books, because things are about to get wild. Scientists are on a mission to bring back the woolly mammoth. You know, those giant furry elephants that went extinct ages ago. Now, this information has been going around for a while. It sounds like a fairy tale when it started, but not anymore. These scientists believe that in just four years, we could have woolly mammoths casually strolling the earth with us. Sounds unbelievable, I know, but would you be down for some mammoth meet and greet, or is this a bit too much of a Jurassic Park vibe for comfort? Behold the mesmerizing serpent captured in the lens of fascination, a horned snake with orange skin. Its back is covered in spikes like a dragon from ancient stories deciding to show up in the form of this amazing snake-like marvel. It's like a mythical creature coming to life. At first glance, one might entertain the notion of a horned puff adder, but no, this snake is something else entirely. It's not your regular snake, it's like a mystery in itself. With majestic proportions and all these intricate spikes covering its slithery body, what type of snake is this? But hold on, here's a twist. We can't rule out that this might just be a fake snake created with technology. You know, people can pull off some pretty convincing illusions these days, so the mystery might be more about how it was made rather than what it actually is. Está flotando este pájaro. No se mueve. Dios mío, ¿qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Here's a curious tale. This man stumbled upon a bird stuck mid-air in the sky. The bird is just hanging there, wings spread wide, not moving an inch. Before we start questioning reality, there might be a simpler explanation. Birds, especially hawks or eagles, sometimes catch rising air currents to stay suspended without flapping much. It's their way of saving energy while keeping an eye on things. So even though it might feel like a scene from a sci-fi movie, there's a good chance it's just a bird taking a break up there. I know it's a big stretch, but well, who knows? Aaron believes it's a glitch in the Matrix, but share your thoughts too. Now let's dive into another spooky scene. A man and his friend cruising one dark night when suddenly they stumble upon something straight out of a horror movie. So we have about six folks decked out in red robes with eerie white masks covering their faces. If you were driving and you saw this, you'd turn around, but not our brave driver. He kept driving, and when they noticed the car, they also didn't run. Instead, they lined up on both sides of the road to allow the cars to drive by. This is an unsettling situation on all levels. The big mystery here, who were those masked figures and why in the world were they standing in the middle of the road? Could they be ritualistic gatherings or are we dealing with supernatural phenomena? Now, some skeptics are calling foul, saying it's all staged for a scare. But what's your take on this? Is it a spooky encounter with the unknown or just a well-crafted performance to give everyone a good scare? In the shots inside the car, you see the driver and another person chilling in the front seat. All normal. Now, if you know anything about our channel, it's that we don't do normal and the road shots say it all. Initially, it's just an empty street, but a few seconds later, and BAM! Out of nowhere, a strange figure materializes on the road. You can see it in a few pictures, and then it vanishes into thin air. 
If it were me, I'd be scared out of my wits. Aaron believes this is a legitimate encounter. But what's your take? Whoa, talk about an unexpected aerial encounter. So someone's up there soaring in a hang glider over the Texas skies, minding their own business when they spot a craft in the sky that's neither a plane nor a helicopter. The owner of the footage thinks it's a Metapod UFO. Now, Metapod or not, the big question remains, what in the world could this craft be? Is it a secret government project, an experimental aircraft, or maybe just some intergalactic tourists making a pit stop in Texas? What's your take on this airborne enigma? Alien visitors, a high-tech experiment, or just a really fancy drone with a flair for the dramatic? Now brace yourself for a peculiar scene. In this footage, where a man gets his mouth wide open, stretched to the max, it's like he's on the verge of throwing up. But here's the kicker. Instead of regular sounds, he's letting out these eerie, otherworldly tones. Hang on, though, because it gets even stranger. According to the source, the man isn't just having a bizarre moment. No, no. He's apparently in the process of turning into a goat. Yeah, you heard that right. A goat. Now, I'm not a shapeshifter expert, but turning into a goat sounds like the plot of a supernatural drama, and I'm all for it. What's your take on this bizarre transformation? Goat man on the loose, or just a creative hoax in the action? During heavy rainfall, someone captured this in the night sky. There was a loud screeching sound followed by a loud boo and this strange green laser coming from the sky under the earth. Now the person recording suggests it could be an explosion, but I'm leaning toward alien invasion vibes here. I mean, what kind of explosion comes with sound effects in a green laser light show? Are we sure someone didn't accidentally open a portal to another dimension? I'm curious to know your take on this. Explosion or something more extraterrestrial? So the owner of a remote property sets up a surveillance camera for safety. And what does it capture? A strange entity zooming across the camera. This entity was in a long robe that swept the floor and covered it from head to toe. In its head, some of the robes were even flying in the air as the entity moved. Now, the property owner was very alarmed when he saw the footage. This entity looked very weird and its movements were very airy, almost as if it was floating and gliding at the same time. What do you reckon it could be? Please do share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section. Take a look at this footage that was taken in Ukraine. In it, you can see a house across a green field moving. Did you catch that? A house is moving. Since when do houses move? What if I told you it wasn't a house at all? This, my friends, is an army tank camouflaged as a house. Just imagine being stalked by a house. These guys are certainly taking camouflage to a whole new level, wouldn't you agree? Next, we have this towering figure, a real-life modern-day giant. Meet this 24-year-old gentleman who hails from Pakistan and is breaking records in the height department. He stands head and shoulders above the crowd, making quite the impression. It's like he's living in a world of his own up there. Exceptionally tall people often garner attention due to their unique physical characteristics. Human height can be influenced by various factors, including genetics, nutrition, and overall health. But some are naturally tall without any underlying medical conditions. What's your take on this towering individual? A real-life giant or just someone who's exceptionally good at reaching for the top shelf?
Stepping away from the height department, let's take a look at this smooth heist. Two thieves roll up to someone's place and one of them is wielding an antenna. Now, you might be thinking, what's with the antenna? Well, these crafty folks are using it to boost the connection between the car inside the house and the electric car parked outside. So as soon as they get the connection, the car opens and they can drive away with it like they own it. Now, to outsmart these high-tech bandits, the tip is to keep your car keys in a metal container or a special pouch away from your car. Those who leave their keys by the door are basically giving these thieves a VIP pass to a free ride. At least, that's what Julius told me. Can anyone confirm this? Wondering what's happening here? Well, this footage is apparently from Texas, and the whole vicinity was closed off because of low oxygen levels. This resulted in thousands of fish washing up ashore. But it didn't end there. Japan also faced the same situation where fish were also washed up ashore because of low oxygen levels. What on earth is causing this? The truth is, no one could give us a single convincing answer. So was it something environmental like changes in water conditions or pollution, or could we be dealing with some underwater cosmic event that's got fish feeling breathless? Whatever it is, it's making waves, not the good kind. What do you do when a pup shows up to your house looking exactly like your dog? This is exactly what happened here. The pup just showed up being all friendly and wearing a similar collar and everything. One's extremely friendly while the other looks annoyed. Clearly, one of them is an imposter. Anyway, which one do you think it is? Many think the annoyed one is the imposter. They even suspect it might be a skinwalker there to harm the family. What do you guys think? Now what we have here is a captivating creature known as the Deadleaf Manis. This master of camouflage has evolved to resemble a withered, curled-up leaf, and its ability to mimic the appearance of a dead leaf is nothing short of remarkable. With its intricate leaf-like body, structure, and coloration, this mantis can seemingly blend into its natural habitat, staying hidden from predators and ambushing its prey. It's a true testament to the wonders of nature and the incredible adaptions that many species have developed for survival. So the next time you're out exploring the wild, keep an eye out for the marvelous dead leaf mantis. There are wonders all around the world. Each day, humans are presented with something new to discuss. This clip captures the astonishing moment when a group of men from a native village stumbled upon a peculiar creature while fishing along the riverside. The creature has a bluish body, a pair of human-like arms and legs, and a head resembling an alien. The concept of extraterrestrial life has long captured the human imagination, fueled by countless accounts of unidentified flying objects and alleged encounters. The possibility that this entity might be a product of human experimentation in a laboratory couldn't be dismissed either. With advances in genetic engineering and bioengineering, the line between science fiction and reality has blurred, giving rise to ethical concerns about the creation of hybrid organisms. So is this one of the said aliens or something whipped up in a lab? Our next adventure takes us to the riverside in Thailand, where an extraordinary spectacle has captivated the villagers. A massive creature with a colorful fin emerges atop the river, drawing the attention of the enthralled audience. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Amidst the gasps and whispers, the villagers are all chanting one name, Naga. 
In Thai folklore, Naga is a revered sea god, often depicted as a serpent-like deity with mystical powers. But among skeptics, some attributed the sighting to a dragon, drawing upon mythical imagery, while others offered a more pragmatic interpretation, suggesting it could be an oversized fish. What do you think it is? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribe, or even dropped a comment so far, could you do so now? It goes a long way to help us to make more of these kinds of videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Nighttime intruders can be a cause for alarm and uncertainty, especially when they take on a strange and unsettling appearance. In this case, a homeowner was awakened by the sound of his dog barking and scratching at the door. Investigating the commotion, he was confronted with an unusual creature peering through the glass window, a sight like nothing he had ever seen before. What could this thing be? As far as he could tell, it looked like a canine, but with markings on its face that he'd never seen before. He uploaded the footage online, and the community has been divided about it. That doesn't help the owner, as encounters like these can be deeply disconcerting, leaving the observer with more questions than answers. In this case, there's also a concern for safety because his dog is scared of the creature and only barks from afar when the animal visits. Can anyone help? Hunting is a profession that's definitely not for the faint of heart. Not only is it dangerous, but more often than not, they encounter things they can't explain. This clip is one of such encounters, but fortunately for us, the hunter had a camera on him. Now, the hunter recording is hidden in a hunter's blind, which is a setup used by hunters to hide from wild animals. This means that although the creature we are seeing is merely 20 feet from him, the hunter is camouflaged. As you can see, this creature, however, possesses higher intelligence than your average animal, as he spotted the blind and is trying to be careful. It has fur all around, and if you didn't know any better, you'd say it's an ape. But when you look closer, you realize it's not. It seems to possess human-like capabilities, yet has the fur of, say, an ape or a bear. It didn't take too long for the paranormal community to declare this as a Bigfoot once the footage was uploaded. Take a look at the footage. I can't help but agree. This is certainly one of the clearest and most up-close footage of Bigfoot that we have ever had on this channel. But is it authentic? Is it real? None can 100% confirm it, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith. What about you? Mermaids have been talked about for years with various sightings here and there. Yet, there are still a few things that make humans pause and question if these creatures are real or if they're just characters we made up for our fairy tales and bedtime stories. However, it's footage like this that leaves us questioning if these creatures are real or not. Some people went to the Yukon River to fish when they spotted this creature that fits the mermaid description swimming by. The creature had long black hair with a silvery fish tail, and it calmly swam by. From various stories I've heard of these creatures, they're mostly hiding from humans, but not this one. It's actually approaching the fishermen. That and the graphic fidelity of the footage make the credibility of this encounter a little fishy. I'm willing to bet that I'm not the only one who thinks this footage might be a hoax. What about you? Don't be shy. Embarking on a mysterious journey deep in the woods of Scotland, our attention is drawn to a hunter's startling discovery. At first glance, the creature lying there appears to be some kind of monkey. But as our explorer inches closer, he's hit with a sight that's jaw-dropping than any game he's probably ever hunted. The creature has the ears of a bat, and its mouth is slightly open, showing razor-sharp teeth. This is not a creature that eats fruits for breakfast. Naturally, this discovery has the internet buzzing with speculation. Some folks are throwing around the wild idea that it could be a baby werewolf, while others are leaning toward a hybrid of some sort. 
So here's the million dollar question. What in the world is this creature? Is it a character straight out of folklore tales, or did the hunter stumble upon the real deal? Now you must be wondering, is that real or is it CGI? If it's real, is it alien? Well, no, it's not. It's an actual frog. The purple frog, scientifically known as Nasicabactricus siadrensis, is indeed a fascinating and peculiar creature. This species of frog is native to the Western Ghats in India, a region known for its rich biodiversity. The purple frog gets its name from its unique appearance. It has a purplish-brown colorization and a distinctive, somewhat bulbous body shape. What makes the purple frog particularly interesting is its unusual lifestyle. It spends most of its life underground, surfacing only during the monsoon season for a short period to breed. It has specialized adaptations for subterranean life, including a snout-like nose that helps it burrow in the soil. These frogs are considered living fossils because they represent an ancient lineage of frogs that has been around for a very long time. A sighting of an otherworldly looking creature in the woods is bound to pique anyone's curiosity and raise questions about the mysteries of the natural world. In this instance, the creature sports a striking appearance that's nothing short of alien. I mean, it's barely visible in the bushes, but looking closely, you can see it. Its eyes betray it with an eerie glow that makes it impossible to not spot it. Despite spotting a face and eyes, we still can't see the creature. Does anyone know what this is? Could it be a known wild animal, or is this truly an otherworldly and extraterrestrial encounter? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. If you thought that was bizarre, then you need to see this next clip. People have been capturing footage of these strange black smoke rings, and the weird thing is, they're popping up in different parts of the world. Now, some suggest that the logical explanation might be fireworks or lightning, but according to those who witnessed these smoky circles in the sky, there was no trace of fireworks or lightning anywhere in sight. So what could it be? Do these rings have anything to do with the recent surge in aliens and UFO sightings? Perhaps some kind of interdimensional portal opening up right above us? No one knows. Skeptics, however, suggest that these rings might be a natural occurrence that has only recently caught our attention due to the prevalence of smartphones and cameras. If you were to ask me, that's just a poor attempt to be logical, but hey, what do I know? And you know, I definitely won't move on to the next clip without asking what you think. So what do you think? In Japan, a homeowner bought a house that was haunted. Oi there. He has records of ghostly activities in the house, and the most shocking of all is this footage here. He put two toilet papers on a stick and placed them on the walls of the stairway. That part of the house has a lot of activity, so watch what happens to the rolls. In a few moments, an unknown force grabs onto the rolls and starts to pull. This footage has been studied and confirmed to not be edited. This man should leave that house, unless he's friends with the ghost haunting the house. Well, then good for him. Encounters with creatures like Bigfoot are the stuff of legends and campfire tales, but for one man in Tennessee, it became a very real and unforgettable experience. <laughs> It all began with strange vocalizations echoing through the lush green lands, a haunting combination of howls and growls. Intrigued, the man decided to follow the eerie sounds. His journey led him to a set of enormous footprints in the mud, tracks that were far too large to belong to a human. The discovery added an extra layer of mystery and intrigue to the situation. 
As he was inspecting the prints, the man's heart must have raced when he heard rustling leaves in the brush ahead. He turned to find himself face to face with a peeking Bigfoot. The creature stared at him, a moment frozen in time before vanishing into the woods. This next footage was captured by a trail cam that was supposed to be well hidden from wildlife, but for some reason, one creature was able to sniff it out. And guess what? It didn't exactly look natural. Take a look. Do you see it? We've seen lots of wolves on this channel, and believe me when I tell you, they typically don't look like that. If you pay attention to the footage, you'll realize that the creature almost looks humanoid. It appears to be bipedal with shoulders at L. You and I know wolves are quadrupeds, which means they walk on four legs. This makes us believe that we could be dealing with a werewolf or something along those lines. What do you think, though? Do you see what I'm seeing, or am I simply reading too much into a simple capture? Venturing to the beach on a sweltering afternoon, a man sought respite from the heat, but what he stumbled upon left him more heated than the scorching sun. Among some rocks under a seaweed, he saw something strange, so he picked it up, only to come face to face with a miniature skeleton of what looked like a mermaid. The skeletal remains had a combination of a human upper torso and a fish-like lower part. The shock of this unexpected encounter made the man promptly drop the mysterious carcass. Now here's where it gets juicy. Do you think this is a long-awaited confirmation that mermaids are more than just legends, or could it be an elaborate prank played on unsuspecting beachgoers? Talk about a mid-air mystery that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Imagine being on a plane looking out of the window and suddenly noticing that the propeller seems frozen in time, not doing the usual spin that provides reassurance during a flight. It's that kind of sight that can make your heart skip a beat, and that's what happened to our unfortunate cinematographer for this clip. A little alarmed, our vigilant passenger took out his phone to film it, but something even stranger occurred. In the video, the propeller was still, but when he moved the phone, the propeller began to function. This was quite strange, but it appears that the mysterious interplay between the human eye, the camera lens, and the spinning propeller creates a visual illusion that plays tricks on our perception. So fear not, the plane isn't defying the laws of aviation, it's just an optical illusion. Encounters with mysterious and potentially menacing intruders can be deeply unsettling, especially when they defy easy explanations. In this case, a person on a farm spots an intruder from a distance, but what they see is not someone they could simply approach and ask to leave the property. As they zoom in on the footage, the features of the creature come into focus, and it bears a striking resemblance to the elusive rake. The fear and uncertainty of the situation leave the farmer standing at a distance watching the creature with a mix of awe and trepidation. Have you ever wondered what Bigfoot sounded like? Does it speak intelligibly? If it does, does it sound Irish, British, or perhaps even Italian? These questions have plagued my mind for a long time, and this next footage is perhaps an answer to that. What the fuck is that noise? Did you hear that? The uploader of the footage states that they are Bigfoot vocalizations from the area where he lives. Bigfoot sightings have been regular there, and if anything, the sightings have increased. They hear these vocalizations. While this is certainly not what I expected, it's certainly an answer. One question still remains. Is this authentic? If it is, is this the only sound they actually make, or is there more?
Our journey into the mysterious takes another chilling turn as we delve into security footage from a parking lot. The seemingly routine scene unfolds with a van driving by, yet, as it fades from view, an inexplicable event occurs. Out of thin air, a mysterious man materializes in the middle of the parking lot. There was no one there, but after the van drove by, a man appeared out of nowhere and walked away. How was that even possible? Did he teleport there or what? Share your thoughts. Turning our gaze toward the heavens again, a mystery unfolds in footage capturing three mesmerizing glowing orbs suspended in the sky. At an unknown location, three glowing orbs were spotted in the sky. They were an orange hue and were in the formation of a triangle. Now, that alone would be enough to raise a few eyebrows, right? But here's where it gets even stranger. As these mysterious lights move, something peculiar catches the eye. It's as if these glowing orbs are all part of one cohesive unit, dancing in perfect harmony. The triangular formation remains intact, so what are we looking at? Some are entertaining the idea that there is something beyond human comprehension at play, an extraterrestrial presence or an advanced technology that surpasses our current understanding of aerospace. So here we are, faced with another enigma in the cosmos. A walk in these woods with your child can be a peaceful and picturesque experience, but when your child's gaze fixates on something that makes your heart race, it's a moment that's sure to leave you scared for life. That's the unfortunate reality of these individuals in our next clip. Take a look. As the camera is turned toward the direction of your child's fascination, the footage reveals a figure among the trees. Upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that this is no ordinary woodland encounter. The creature appears to be a humanoid figure shrouded in cloth like a mummy, a sight that's unsettling and haunting. They hoped that this might be some sort of Halloween prank, but this wasn't taken during Halloween. They walk away from the incident unscathed, but scarred for life. Hikers often come across some of the most breathtaking and mysterious sights in the great outdoors, and spotting a creature on the mountain is an experience that can leave anyone spellbound. In this case, the hiker caught sight of a creature that bore a resemblance to the legendary Bigfoot, but the footage was captured at a distance and wasn't clear enough for a definitive identification. The only way for someone to stand out from that far out was for it to be considerably large. Given that this was captured on a mountain with what looks like fur in its body, we can only assume that's a Bigfoot. If you think otherwise, I'd love to hear your thoughts. We've all heard of the company Tesla by Elon Musk. This company has achieved a lot of technological milestones to a point that it seems scary. Even Elon Musk himself has said so. In this footage, we can see a Tesla robot being handed a hat and a gun. The robot shoots the gun at a Tesla car to test if the car is bulletproof. After that, another robot comes out of the car unharmed. While the demonstration showcases impressive advancements in technology and automation, it also sparks a contemplation of the implications. The ease with which the robot handles the gun raises questions about the evolving capabilities of artificial intelligence. The seamless execution of tasks by these robots brings to mind the concept of singularity a point where AI could surpass human intelligence, prompting both awe and a tinge of unease. That's if the video was true, at least. I must say, it had me in the first half, but this has to be one of the most impressive CGI's I have ever seen. Unless, of course, it's truly real. Can anyone confirm?
Well, well, well. The mystery deepens as a trail camera working its night shift in the heart of the forest captures a peculiar creature that's enough to send shivers down your spine. A creature with a long, crooked neck. This creature we are seeing on the screen is what people call the campy monster. The term Champy is often associated with Champ, the legendary lake monster said to inhabit Lake Champlain primarily in the United States and Canada. Champ has been a subject of local folklore and legend, with reported sightings and accounts stretching back for decades. Descriptions of Champ often include a long-necked creature resembling a plesiosaur, a group of prehistoric marine reptiles known for their distinctive long necks and flippers. Could this be one of them? YouTube drones have opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for exploration and discovery, and occasionally they capture something truly intriguing. In this instance, as a drone was surveying a property, it stumbled upon a creature moving below. The creature's appearance was remarkably human, but its size and the presence of dark fur led everyone who saw it to believe that they had encountered a Bigfoot. While skepticism and debate surround the existence of Bigfoot, these encounters continue to fuel the mystery and fascination surrounding this cryptid. Mysterious trail cam images like these can indeed boggle the mind and stir the imagination. In the first image, we're presented with a worm-like creature featuring an eerily human arm, which is truly grotesque and an unsettling sight. The creature resembles a fleshy blob that seems more at home in a sci-fi horror movie than in the depths of the wilderness. In the subsequent image, we encounter a creature that bears some similarities, but with an added eerie twist. This time, it sports two large fangs protruding from its mouth, along with a set of razor-sharp teeth. The contrast between the two images is enough to leave anyone pondering the nature of these mysterious creatures. Are they the result of some natural anomaly? Are we dealing with an optical illusion or a prankster's creation? Whatever the case is, these trail cam images are unsettling, and I pray no one has to encounter creatures such as these. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode, Our narrative takes an otherworldly turn as we journey to Japan, where a peculiar incident has left onlookers baffled and intrigued. There was a strange structure captured in the sky. It looked like some sort of a pillar, and from that pillar, strange objects flew out. This looks like something ripped from the pages of a sci-fi script, where aliens come to Earth on a mothership that has smaller ships in it. Could that be the situation here? Because I don't think humans now have the technology to build structures in the sky. We're not quite there yet. So this leaves us with the lingering possibility that it could be an alien mothership. Now before we label it a crazy theory, let's acknowledge that the world is full of mysteries and sometimes reality can be just as mind-bending as fiction. Quite recently, there was a commotion in Miami, and the whole situation can be attributed to a suspected alien sighting in the region. Various images have since been going around, but it seems these photos might be one of the clearest. There you can see the creature, about seven to eight feet tall, walking. According to the owner of the footage, the creature was very visible for one moment and then started to become transparent until it finally vanished. Residents from the area have confirmed this as well, but according to the police, there was no creature on site. However, on the night of the incident, there were hundreds of police surrounding the area, with some in choppers in the sky, which makes the whole thing very suspicious. The conflicting reports raise questions about the validity and nature of the alleged alien sighting. 
Residents remain divided on the credibility of the incident, sparking debates and speculation within the community. Having seen this footage, what do you also think? The allure of the unknown and the mysterious can sometimes lead to fascinating tales and unexpected discoveries. In the case of the Costa Rican fishermen back in 2011, their encounter with a peculiar sea creature must have been a thrilling experience. The creature's strange movements in the sea and its unfamiliar appearance sparked their curiosity, leading them to capture and bring it home to share their discoveries with others. It's not uncommon for such encounters to evoke thoughts of aliens or paranormal creatures, especially when faced with something entirely out of the realm of one's usual experiences. I dug deeper concerning this story and found many sources calling it a hoax, because the website that posted it had disappeared and the individual is also nowhere to be found. Given this circumstance, they concluded that the story was made up and that they probably altered an image of a stingray. What if that's not the situation, though? What if he found something and was captured to keep him silent? I guess we'll never know. In this image, we're introduced to a hairless bear, which, at first glance, might remind you of a lion with its distinctive mane. However, this is indeed a bear. The image was captured in Leipzig, a city in Germany, and it's within the confines of a local zoo. The zoo's garnered attention for its rather peculiar condition of some of its female bears, one of which is Dolores. She's noticeably devoid of fur, an appearance that's quite uncommon for a bear. The mysterious hair loss in these bears has left experts puzzled, and despite extensive investigation, a conclusive cause remains elusive. What are we looking at here? This strange exhibition in a museum has left everyone perplexed. We can see what looks like three human hands attached to a bicycle. The hands are covered in black long gloves, so we do not know what lies beneath them. Two of the arms are on the ground, I guess serving as the legs, while the third one is in the sky making the rock on sign with its fingers. It's like someone unleashed a surreal puppet show on an unsuspecting audience. Speaking of the audience, they're not just intrigued, but downright baffled. The covered arms making the whole scene a mystery, making it impossible to tell if these limbs are mechanically crafted or, dare I say it, possessed by some otherworldly force. And you know it's got people talking when the speculation meter swings all the way to the possessed object theory. But what do you guys say this is? A hiker while in the mountains spotted something strange walking in the forest below. At first glance, the figure resembled a human, but upon closer inspection, subtle indications of dark fur all over the body emerge. The tantalizing possibility arises. Could this elusive being be the legendary Bigfoot? Looking at the size of the creature from that distance, there is a high chance that is a Bigfoot, but then again, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt because humans can be very dubious sometimes. What's your take on this mountain encounter? A genuine Bigfoot sighting or just a brush with the shadows of the wild? Or a hoax? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, can you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you now, would you? If I didn't know any better, I would assume that this is a seal chewing gum, but it's an actual species of seal called the hooded seal. Hooded seals are indeed a fascinating and unique species, known for their distinct nasal hood that males can inflate and the striking appearance it gives them. Comparing one to a seal chewing gum is a whimsical and creative way to describe their appearance. These seals are well adapted to their cold and challenging environments, primarily found in the Arctic and North Atlantic. While they may not be engaging in chewing gum, their behavior and features are captivating in their own right. Hooded seals are skilled swimmers, spending much of their lives in the ocean and occasionally coming ashore for breeding and molting. Seen one? Tell us your experience. 
Sometimes reality can be so bewildering that it seems to validate our wildest imaginations. In this peculiar footage, the scene is reminiscent of a simple stick figure drawing we've all created. A slender figure, almost like a living stick figure, is captured on a snowy path in the dead of night. The image is surreal, as if someone's childhood sketch has come to life. The figure's upper part is shrouded in darkness, adding an extra layer of mystique. But what's undeniable are the long, spindly legs moving with an otherworldly grace. Could it be a trick of the light, a creature unknown to science, or just a clever optical illusion? The mystery persists, much like those stick figures we used to draw as kids. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at this next footage. Here we have a creature that looks like a collection of tangled twigs. Now, imagine walking into a place and seeing twigs slithering about. If that doesn't scream scary and creepy, then I don't know what would. Now, the big question on everybody's mind, what in the world is this thing? Some are throwing around the idea that it might be a parasite or some kind of symbiotic creature on the prowl, wiggling about in search of a host. I mean, who wouldn't be a little unnerved by a creature that's black, wiggly, and seemingly on a mission? With little to no information on this thing, we're only left with speculations on what this could be. But what do you guys think we're dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comment section. In the vast skies above Venezuela in 2023, a group of mesmerized onlookers captures a celestial show that challenges the norms of the ordinary. Initially, a fleet of radiant objects was spotted hovering in the night sky like otherworldly gems. However, the spectacle takes an astonishing twist as these celestial wonders undergo a spell-binding metamorphosis. Slowly but surely, the luminous objects transform into what can only be termed sky snakes. What's your take on this sky show? Alien acrobats or an elaborate light display with a serpent twist? A possible rake sighting is certainly an intriguing and spine-tingling prospect. In the heart of the night, a peculiar creature is discovered perched on a wooden structure within a field. The creature is characterized by its glowing eyes and a body that appears eerily human and crouched. This unsettling presence sits atop the structure for a time, an eerie silhouette against the darkness. Then, with an almost supernatural grace, it jumps off and vanishes into the obscurity of the night. Whether this is indeed a sighting of a rake or something else entirely remains a mystery, but it's an encounter that tantalizes the imagination, does it not? Here we have a classic case of something that could easily be mistaken for a paranormal encounter in the woods. In this piece of disturbing footage, we see a creature which appears to be slender and tall moving through the woods. The footage appears to have been taken from a window, which means it was taken closer to civilization. Could this be the slender man we've always heard about? Could its true form be what we are seeing, or is this simply another entity altogether? It's hard for us to say, but do tell us what you think. Whilst in an aircraft, someone filmed this strange thing in the sky. It's a glowing circle with white, smoky edges. These things have been appearing all over the world. They look like some sort of portals, but scientists have not yet come out to address them. 
No official statements, no explanations. It's like the scientific community is just as perplexed as the rest of us, leaving the door wide open for wild theories and endless questions. Now, it's got people buzzing with speculation. Are we witnessing some interdimensional phenomenon? Could these be portals opening up in the sky? And if they're portals, where do they lead to? Here is another footage of a robot taken in Russia. We witness a human in a boxing ring against a formidable opponent, a robot. As the match unfolds, it becomes apparent that the odds are stacked in favor of the mechanical contender. The man launches his attack and the machine defends easily, but when the robot attacks, it lands two perfect punches that leave the man out cold. Is it that they are out of human players or just wanted to watch a person get beat up because this is clearly not a fair fight? Once again, everyone wants us to believe that this is real, but my assistant showed me the original video, and I must state, this is just impressive CGI. Here we have another tale of a creepy dog. This time, we can see a dog playing with a child, running off the little child. But when it gets behind the tree, it straight up vanishes, only to reappear from the darkness a bit further away not following the exact path it took behind the trees. Some in the community are throwing the it was dark so it looked like it vanished card onto the table. It's a classic optical illusion, right? Darkness playing tricks on your eyes. On the flip side, some are convinced that the dog legit vanished into thin air. What's your take on this mysterious canine? Could there really be something more supernatural at play? If you can see this, then you can tell that the UFO phenomenon is taking an unexpected turn. Someone captures a video of an unusual object in the sky, but it's not the typical unidentified flying object this time. Instead, it looks like a person suspended in the air. <laughs> oh well, that's quite puzzling. This has led people to wonder, is it a UFO trying to look like a human, or could it be a person with some extraordinary ability to defy gravity up there? Perhaps someone from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. The possibilities are quite varied. Some believe it might be an extraterrestrial visitor with a human-like appearance, while others consider the idea of a person with unique abilities taking a casual flight among the clouds. As the video circulates, opinions are being shared, but let's keep it calm and look at it rationally. Do you think it's a UFO in disguise, someone with exceptional powers, or perhaps something else entirely? Let's have a conversation. Culture varies from place to place, and sometimes some might seem unique. Take a look at this footage, for instance. In the clip, we see a group of men gathered around a pot of sizzling food. Things take a bizarre turn when the guy in the center dips his hand into the hot oil and then casually puts it in his eye. As if that's not strange enough, he tilts his head in this weird position, giving everyone around a front row seat to the unusual spectacle. It looks like a street performance, but it clearly isn't. That's left many in the community asking what could be going on there, but no one can say for sure, but we can speculate. Some state that there's a possibility it's nothing more than a cultural presentation, while some think they have made packs with God protecting them. Our skeptics like Julius, however, believe the whole thing is a hoax meant to steal money out of the pockets of the gullible. You've seen it yourself. What do you think? And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, with their popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comment section. And if you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit with it unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.